<clears throat> so what do we do now when we have a negative times negative 5 minus 4y? And this begins, um, this starts a problem because students understand, all right, I get the distributive property, right? But then what do I do when I don't have a number that I have this negative sign? What, what does this work out? Remember, oh, remember, we have the multiplication property of negative 1, which states when you have a negative number, that can be rewritten, or negative variable, as negative 1 times your variable or the number. So I can re-represent a negative symbol as a negative 1. So that's exactly what I'm going to want to do here. And then what you can see is, oh, now I can just treat this like the distributive property. As that negative sign is a negative 1, that neg excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, that negative 1 could just be your a. And you can just represent it this way. So now, by applying the distributive, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. By distributing the negative 1, I have negative 1 times negative 5, and then minus 1 times a negative 4y. Now, by simplifying this, I have negative 1 times a negative is going to give me a positive 5, and then negative 1 times negative 4y is going to give me a positive 4y. And therefore, you can see this one. The other really quick way to also think about it is even though I know I'm working on a distributive property, remember to think of negative sign as opposite, right? So if you have to do the opposite of both those terms, if that's a negative 5, the opposite is 5, positive 5y. The opposite of negative 4y is a positive 4y. So that's another actually very quick way to be able to simplify that problem.